The Elder Scrolls Online is definitely a game that has far more content than Fallout 76 in pretty much every aspect. But why does The Elder Scrolls Online get so much more attention than Fallout 76? The other day, while browsing the Fallout 76 Reddit, as usual, I came across this post which says, why does Fallout 76 not get the same attention from the devs that Elder Scrolls Online does? I played Fallout 76 on launch day for about a month until I got bored, took a year long break, came back, made a new character and replayed everything and all of the new content. It was fun for roughly 80 hours and I haven't played it since. I recently downloaded ESO for $7, it's on sale, XBL. The game is absolutely massive. There's a shit ton of paid content, land masses, DLCs, skill lines, wearable stuff, craftable stuff, etc. And the RPG side is way more advanced. This makes me wonder why Fallout 76 hasn't received the same treatment. I mean, Beth has the time opportunity to churn out a shitload of content just based off player recommendations that a lot of players would pay for and the only thing you really get is Adam shop stuff where is the disconnect ESO's development makes Fallout 76 looks like there's three dudes and a social media manager in a basement somewhere I think a comment on this reddit post pretty much summarized what I wanted to say perfectly ESO is an MMO Fallout 76 isn't ESO was created as an MMO first and foremost with an engine used for MMOs. Fallout 76 wasn't. The games are drastically different with ESO not playing even remotely like the mainline Elder Scrolls games unlike Fallout 76 which feels the same as Fallout 4. It's a shame that Fallout 76 doesn't get more attention but content creation isn't equal for both and I'd rather Fallout 76 not get the horror show that is ESO Crown Store with loot boxes and endless bullshit. If you play it enough, you'll want ESO Plus for the infinite crafting bag and access to all the DLC. Then there's the, the expansions to pay for. It's much more expensive than Fallout 76. Played ESO from the beta for a couple of years, then on and off. And this person is definitely right. The Elder Scrolls Online is literally filled with microtransactions. It has a store similar to Fallout 76's Atomic Shop, but it also has loot boxes. You also have to pay for the DLCs. There's crafting bags to pay for, and there's just a ton of stuff that you can buy in the Elder Scrolls Online. And the reason why that game gets so much attention is probably because it makes a lot of money. That money means more resources for the game, more resources for the game means that they could bring new content to the game constantly. Plus, The Elder Scrolls Online has been out for a while, and that team already knows what fans of that game want to see. They want to see new maps with new content. But if you rewind time just a few years back, The Elder Scrolls Online was in a similar position as Fallout 76. The Elder Scrolls Online didn't always have a big player base, they didn't always have people buying their loot boxes and paying for a premium subscription. What happened with the Elder Scrolls Online at first was the game got a bunch of hate. It too had a bunch of bugs and glitches when it first launched. Not nearly as much as Fallout 76, but it had enough bugs and glitches to get a bunch of hate. And you could go online and you could go on Google and you can literally type in, you know, something like Elder Scrolls Online sucks or something like that. And a bunch of articles will pop up from when the game first launched and they talk about how horrible and awful the game was. But the Elder Scrolls Online constantly kept getting updates. As it got more updates, players began to return to the game. As players began to return to the game, they began to spend money on said game. When they spend money on said game, the team is then able to make a bunch of content for that game but it took them years to get to the point where it is now. With Fallout 76, I believe the same thing is going to happen. As Fallout 76 gets updated more and more, more and more players are gonna to return to the game. As more and more players return to the game, the game is going to make more money. As the game makes more money, the company's probably gonna put that money back into the game. When that money goes back into the game, that means more content. And eventually Fallout 76, 
we'll probably have a lot of content just like the Elder Scrolls Online. It took years for Elder Scrolls Online to get to where it is right now, and it's going to take years for Fallout 76 to get to where essentially the Elder Scrolls Online is right now, or at least the equivalent of it when it comes to content. The Elder Scrolls Online, like I said, did launch in a broken state. There wasn't a whole lot of content. It took them years to get the game to where it is. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Fallout 76. The game released in a broken state. It didn't have a whole lot of content at first. But as time goes on, the game is going to get more and more content. And to be honest, it's really just a waiting game. It takes time for Bethesda Game Studios to create good quality content. And I'm okay with that. I'd rather have good quality content that takes time than small little meaningless updates like I see for a lot of other online games out there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this topic down in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love all of you. I hope to see you back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay awesome. Bye-bye, and I'll see you all next time.